Christ in the name of Jesus. This film has been classified PG. That stands for parental guidance, which means that parents might want to check up on it before showing it to their younger children. If it's an action film, it might have some violence. If it's romantic, it might have some sexy scenes or very brief nudity. It might also have some of the milder swear words. Good evening, and welcome to the annual North Royal Velo Club Dinner and Prize presentation. I hope this will be the first year of many to come for the club and I hope you've all enjoyed the night so far. I'd just like to say thank you for coming. It's great that you've shown your support to the club. I hope we're going on to bigger and better things next year. And um, I hope you enjoy the rest of the evening, including what's following right away. Yeah, calm down. It's the world premiere of the North Rural of film, A Ride Through History. And I'd like to say that I've actually spent quite a bit of time on this as my, uh, as my wife. She's, there she is, down there, scowling. Yeah, yeah, down. She uh, would testify to say that, yes, I did spend an enormous amount of time messing about on my computer, as she says. Um, so, Hopefully you will laugh a bit, a little bit, maybe, I don't know. Clap at the end would be great. But anyway, enjoy. Without further ado, let's start the film.
date we've got some special messages from uh, a couple of mem current members who couldn't be here tonight but would like to say a few words uh, to everybody our first member is Dave Osmond who's all the way in sunny Canada over to you Dave Hello, North Wirral fellow club members and guests this is Dave Osmond who happened to be a North Wirral Velo Junior Club Champion 1961. And here I am calling you from uh, Qualicum Beach, which is halfway up Vancouver Island in the uh, North Pacific of uh, British Columbia. And uh, I, it, the weather is spectacular. It's a beautiful fall day, just right for a bike ride. And uh, just to put things in perspective, Vancouver Island is actually a big island. It's 50% bigger than Wales and has loads of mountains, just like Wales, except ours are thick forest. The population of Vancouver Island is only 610,000, whereas it's about 3.5 million in Wales. But nevertheless, uh, North Wales was where I did an awful lot of my early cycling with North Whittle Velo. Um, I never forget those days um, where you know I learned to ride up the the mountains, uh, including the old bulk, which and if you know that it goes up uh, right to the top of Moldvama, then you come down the other side down to Loggerheads. Um, there were some great guys who took me under their wing when I joined the club in 1956. Thirteen-year-old kid, crazy on cycling. There was uh, like Johnny Fryer, um, George and Barbara O'Brien, uh, Keith and Carol Boardman, Brian Pearson, Eddie Hayes, Roy Packer, Keith Kilgannon, Johnny Ince, Jeff Todd. Uh, I'm sure I've missed a few, but you know, those days, it was a long time ago, um, but it's formed part of my life, and here I am, 75, still crazy on cycling. Um, 19, no, 1994, 
we had the Commonwealth Games on Vancouver Island, and I linked up again with uh, forgetful Phil Liggett. Uh, he and I used to ride together in the 50s, and I came to Canada in 1966. You know, it's great to be able to see the Northwell Velo back in action. Uh, I love the new jersey. Uh, the website is brilliant. And I think young Scott O'Brien needs a, a great deal of thanks for quarterbacking all the work that's gone into producing such a great website. I think um, it's great that you are now back in action having club dinners. I remember very well the club dinners we went to in the 50s and 60s. And um, when I came to Canada, I couldn't find cycling at the level I was used to. So went back to playing rugby, which I did at school till I broke a nose and broke my nose and had a tooth knocked out and thought to hell with that. Went back to cycling and I've been doing it ever since. So not to take up too much time, I hope you're having a great evening. I would like to congratulate all the uh, winners of uh, any awards that are being handed out tonight. I'd like to wish the club well for the future. And may I be one of the first to uh, wish you Merry Christmas and a happy and healthy and safe New Year. And as we always say, may the wind be always to your back. Best wishes to you all and uh, maybe we'll do this again next year. Thank you, Dave. What a lovely sentiment that was. And now we're going further field. We're going right down under to New Zealand and to meet up with the one and only Russ Jones. Hello, Russ. You're honestly here down in New Zealand. Hey, just hope, hope you're having a great night tonight. Um, you know, I'm having a terrible time down here. You know, someone's gonna have to put the miles in while you guys are uh, eating and drinking. Um, just say thanks very much for the award for uh, the being the most furthest away Velo member. It means a lot actually to represent North River Velo all around the world. And um, what's that, Scott? There's, there's no actual award. Uh, no, sorry, Ross. No, no award. No, no. I can get stuffed. I only joined for the free jersey. And I seriously, boy, put some miles in over the winter and uh, I'll see you for the next hill climb. Thank you, Russ. And that concludes the messages for, from our members and the film for tonight. So please carry on enjoying yourselves. Have a great night. And thank you for coming. See you next year. Cheers. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, I thought he was a bit more fun, yeah. Yeah. Scott, Scott, Scotch. Mm -hmm. The arsonist. The arsonist had ugly shit. Beat. <laughs>